so my plan is obviously to declutter some but somehow also give you guys a shelf tour not really thought this through but you know we move guys it's fine <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily and I have not been on active on YouTube for like a year, let's say, because I don't know, I got overwhelmed with like general life and I had no idea what to post. I just got a bit stressed and I also deleted all my videos because of anxiety, let's call it. I actually don't know why I did it. I just did it. But today I'm back with a bang because I'm giving everyone a shelf tour. So this is going to be my 2023 shelf tour. And if you can remember the shelf tour I did like a year, maybe two years ago, you'll remember that my shelves were pretty filled then. Um, it's even worse now, guys. It's really bad. Like, they look nice here, but on the opposite side of my room, like just in that corner there, you just can't see the actual books anymore. Like, they're stacked too high and I can't see what books are behind each other. So it's a bit of an issue. And I'm also currently in the middle of a declutter. So I'm getting rid of lots of my books because I obviously don't need them anymore. I also don't want them anymore and I have too many books I need to like make space for more books um, so we're just gonna get straight into the shelf tour because I've got so many books this is gonna be a long a long ass video guys so I'm actually gonna start just standing right here it's nice and easy usually the camera is also already set up and I've realized for the rest of my room I won't be able to like put myself in it because I've actually got a really small room there's not actually a lot of space to put things around so like my tripod currently is standing on my bed um yeah i've got a very small room and it's just basically a library with a bed in it so it's fine though so on these two main big bookshelves behind me are basically obviously my already finished series um i love all these bookshelves so much they actually were built for me by the builder who obviously did our house like three years ago and i love them because obviously they're like the perfect height for like i don't know like you see hardback so it's the perfect height for hardback but also i can stack books like this and like you know when people have like rows like the billy bookcase from like here like they're double stacked I used to have them and I really didn't like them because I couldn't see all books were behind it but they are also very practical like I think this is such an aesthetically pleasing like shelf to look at because my bed like literally just faces it all the time and I'm like mm, books so as you can see this is like just the general panning overview of my shelf it is quite crowded and as you can see there's a book missing because I'm actually reading um the first hero of Olympus books the lost hero so that's obviously missing but my shelves my pride and joy and I've obviously got more here I love them all so much just gonna start on this shelf here so this shelf is above my desk here and you can see my bed in the mirror and i've obviously reorganized this shelf already which has been so much help so obviously at the top i've got all my candles because i've got nowhere else to put them because i used to have them like stacked in front of the books but it obviously got too hectic and up here i basically in the little pinky pile are obviously all the red books I've got my dolly alderton conversations and love so kind of like non-fiction slash fiction it's kind of a weird shelf currently and I've got some dark academia books that I've not read. The only book I've read on this little second pile is My Sister is uh, the Serial Killer, which I adored. Phenomenal book, 10 out of 10. Recommend it to every single person. And then on this final little bit, um, I've read none of them and they're just like thrillers that I really want to read. And I decided I'm just going to keep and not get rid of. Then in the nice little middle shelf, I've got a mixture of red and unread books. So these are like books always paired with their arc that I just love it so much. I think the aesthetic is phenomenal. I just, oh, I don't. You can see I've got Her Majesty's Royal Coven, Book of Night, The Final Strife, Little Thieves, The Darkening, etc, 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 as you can see them. And then for some books, had the arc of the first book, like these two. I obviously always put the second book with it because they are a series, they're a collection, e.g. These aren't any arcs, unfortunately, but they're just Fairy Loot Special Edition and then just the two normal editions. But I just love them so much, so I obviously had to have them on here. You can see just even more books everywhere and moving on to this big section over here so i've already reorganized these books but i've got obviously the hobbit and obviously the entire lord of the rings collection i've not read any of these books but they're just there for the aesthetics and i want to i've read brave i loved it read all of these books here they just don't have a place yet on my shelves because obviously i've got so many other books that are taking their place instead but i really like them and once i've obviously read like the sequels and stuff they'll be put obviously on the main part of the shelf once I find space. Here we've got the Cruel Illusions because it's the perfect size to fit right here. There's nowhere else for it currently, so it just fits there. And then obviously all my Sarah J Mask books because obviously I've been reading her since I was 13. So still love her a little bit, so gotta keep them up there. And then moving on down, we've got like Daughter of the Moon Goddess, Emily Wilde, Encyclopedia of Fairy. So these are like Fairly editions with the arcs, as you can see. And then this is my Fairly February um, adult box, and it's stunning, obsessed, and Atlas 6 obsessed. 
so here are all some books which have been read and which haven't been read these three books have been read this has been read i obviously tomorrow 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 i guys i'm obsessed with it phenomenal we obviously have a very big collection of different books so we've just got fortuna swarm which i really enjoyed over there then i've got all of my elise cova books and then i've got my daniel jensen books i need to get the next book in the series because i loved it so much the, all my lee bardugo books are just over here in this corner here and next up i've got my marissa my books and i love these books so much my samantha shannon priory phenomenal book i have the final book to this don't worry i'm just not ready i've been a bit too scared and then my raven kennedy my a children of blood and bone oh my god they're the wrong way around oh i'm just gonna leave it that's hardly annoying though and on this shelf we've got the gilded wolves fury born king's bane then my mary lou collection because i love mary lou so much and then i've got these like regency style fantasy like the midnight bargain and half the soul like trilogy love them so much they're so good then i've got my laura sebastian like ash princess trilogy then i've got the gilded ones it's such a good book i've got the sequel i just need to finish it and then finally we've got um snow like ashes by sarah rash i think that's how you say it that trilogy i did really enjoy this more of my greek mythology shelf i would call it so i've got the law graphic novels i love these books so much medusa lovely ward and this is girl goddess queen like the arc of it uh katie roberts like uh i don't know great mythology series i can't actually remember what it's called i need to get the final of uh, the next book radiant sin because this series is smutty but me i love it so much it probably makes me like blush so so much got my madeline miller books pat barker signs of the girls uh, guys it's so bad i own like so many of these like green mythology books and i just haven't read them yet like these books i've read but in my other section oh my god it's so bad and then I've got some like more Greek mythology, then Arthurian legends just over here. Space is waiting for the rest of my Greek mythology books to go into it. So I'm so sorry, but there is space for books to go there. I just it just looks a little bit messy right now, but I just I need to fill it up. I've got Stalking Jack the Whipper, then my Divergent series because I love Divergent. But I've literally not read four yet because everyone's like, it's so bad. And I'm like, oh, I can't do this to myself. My Harry Potter books and then my Hunger Games books. And I've also not read Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, but the movie's coming out. So I'm a trash human being, so I don't know why I've read it yet. And then has anyone read the Angel Fall series? Like, I love this series so much that I'm staying here. But look how colourful this section is compared to the Angel Fall. So here we have my entire Crave series. I need to get, the obviously, the next books, like Charm and whatever the other book is called. I did really enjoy them. They're like my Guilty Pleasure series. Are they written well? No. Do I enjoy them? Yes. And then I've got my Jennifer L. Almontrell from Blood and Ash books. I also need to get the rest of the books in this, like, trilogy they're now six and there's like a spin-off series it's way too many books but i want to get them because everyone says it's super good so i just need to read them and do that and then i've got my twilight books i've not read twilight guys i've literally not read it ever i'm atrocious and then i've got king of battle and blood the beautiful the xx vampire academy i've only got the first book of vampire academy for some unknown reason um and i darken white hot kiss wicked saints and the dower of blood so moving on up we've got my percy jackson books the heroes of olympus series which i'm currently reading well i'm reading the first book of but i'm really enjoying it guys it's such an easy read and then we've got into my starcross series these books were everything to me literally everything obsessed with them like look how ruined and red this book is i can't get rid of it because it's so ruined but these two are so much nicer then i've got the three dark crowns like series i've got the rest of the books not finished them yet and i've got some arcs which i love so much the undertaking of heart and mercy was such a good like romantic fantasy type book i can't actually say what the vibe is of it i think so uh the spoon spindle i need to get the second book i really enjoyed it spin the dawn so so good as well um obviously you got stuff and dove need to get the rest of the books in that series the very um secret society of irregular witches the deadly education which i have all of them as arcs which i think is so impressive like well, besides, okay, I don't have all of them as arcs. I don't have a Deadly Education as an arc anymore. But The Last Graduate and The Golden Enclaves are arcs, so very impressive for me. And then I've got A Master of the Dijin, or Jin. Just over here, we have, like, Victoria Averard's books. I really want to get a hardback of this, and obviously the second book, Blade Breaker, just not got around to it yet. The Renegade series by Marissa Meyer. And then, you know, these, like, little collections by, the, like, DC comics, but, like, as books, love them. They found them so exciting to read, because especially they're written by, like, some of my favourite authors, like Sarah, Mary Lee, and then Lee. I don't actually know, I don't know what this man wrote, also writes, but I did enjoy this when I read it. The entire Shatter Me series, besides one book, we have The Taking of Jake Livingstone, The Darkest Minds, which I need to finish still, uh, Night Circus, Legendborn, phenomenal book, so, so good. And then just behind here, I've got Twin Crowns, and I've got Scene of the Sea. Here we've got like 
Does anyone remember these books? These Broken Stars? I need to get the final book because I won't like the covers are phenomenal and they're just so pretty. I don't even know if I remember liking the books. I just the covers. Um, I need to obviously get the Aurora Rising like, for the next books. I need to get the rest of this series. So many series I need to complete. Illuminate Files. I won't lie. I devoured these books. So, so good. The Host. One of my favourite movies. Also now one of my favourite books. Um, Carve the Mark. I found this like duology really exciting. I don't know if many other people did but I really enjoyed it personally. Then I got Vicious by Fee Schwab. I got Zenith, and I know quite a lot of people, they're like, it's not fun, it's not written well. I loved it. Mainly because I love Sasha, but I loved it. The Red Rising series, oh my god, one of my favourite series to exist in the world. Like, look how beaten up this copy is of Red Rising. I might have to do a reread soon, you know. Winter's Orbit, such a good book. Phenomenal. Seven Devils, I haven't read yet, guys, but it's obviously in the sci-fi section of the shelf, so it works. Skyward, and then the Sky series, which I also need to get, Gleanings. I'm really bad. I've got so many books to like get to finish series, but this is one of my favourite rows. It's like my sci-fi section. My Stephanie Garber Caravelle books. And it's kind of weird, these books, because I've got like the two old original covers and then I've got just the final book and the new cover. And it's kind of annoying because the height difference on this is completely different, but I do like them. Priority section just here. Um, a Winter's Promise, I need to get the rest of the like three books in the quartet because this was so fun. And look at the spine, like the rest of the colours are also like pastels. I love them so much. Then I've got this like quite cool, I think, little section. So I've got Nocturne, I need to get the next book. For the Wolf, I need to finish the like duology or trilogy, I don't know what it is. I loved this duology. Girls of Paper and Fire, I enjoyed, but I didn't love it. Like it kind of like traumatised me a little bit, but I might me carry on with this like trilogy. We Hunt the Flame. I have like the old cover because it's so beautiful and it was so so good. Um, Havenfall, Phoenix, Flame, both really quite fun, like easy to read, like fantasies. And then Princess of Souls, also really enjoyed. And then we got The City of Brass, phenomenal, phenomenal, loved it. One for My Enemy, which I recently just read, so good, so so good. A Dark Shade of Magic Need to Finish. Jade City, She Became a Son, The Book of Gothel, The Poppy War, and then these like Mary like Pearson books. So this is like my unfinished series kind of section because I'm the worst when it comes to finishing series and then here's like a nice little hardback section because I wanted to flow with the rest of the hardbacks because I had them on my floor originally but I found space for them so here they are now and I go to all my Holly Black books like the Stolen Air and all that good stuff and then behind here I've got my Lani Taylor books and she please write another book like I need it and I got my Bridget Kemner books and then I've also got my Margot Rogerson books here or Margaret Rogerson and my Cassandra Clare books I love her so much, guys. <laughs> so I've got uh, the Shadowhorns Codex, obviously the Infernal Devices, the Last Hours, and I got it signed. And then this is also signed by Cassie Klein. Now I've met her twice and she's signed both of them. And then I have the uh, Mortal Instrument series, and then I've got the Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy, and then I've also got here the Dark Artifices. But guys, it doesn't finish there. I've got um, Go to the Shadow Market, the Bane Cruels, and the Red Skulls of Magic. I need to get the second book of this duology, trilogy. Just need to get it. And then I've got like the Raven Cycle. I did really enjoy it, but I just can't remember it. And then I've got the Amanda Hogan series. This was such a throwback series. I loved it so much. And then this is more like a very pinky girly themed here. So I've got the Shadow Queen, the Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, the 10,000 Tours of January, which I loved so good. Because but I even have more books over here, guys. So this is my arc section. So books that are coming out in 2023, which is obviously this year. So you can see you've got Day of Fallen Night, I've got the Foxglove King here, Immortal Longings, I've got Wild Blood, The Cleaving, um, Unseen Atlantia, Sing Me to Sleep, Plays Bitterthorn, Chaos and Flame. It's such a good section, but a very stressful section for me. Got even more books up here. Proof of Heaven, This Is Gonna Hurt, The Prison Doctor, When Breath Comes Out, um, Fragile Lives, and then in last year before Christmas. So this is my non-fiction doctory books because I started biomed and I love science-y doctory like hospital books so I really enjoyed it. And then I've got two little books up here which is The Grim Tales and then The Penguin Book of Christmas Stories and they just look really cute on this little shelf I've got going on. And then even on the other shelf opposite this bit I've got The Mermaid of Black Conch, The Wall, um, What Writers Read and then the I Want to Die but I Want to Eat Tabaki which is such a mood of a book but they're just out here and they look very cute aesthetically just chilling there and now guys we have entered the bane of my existence look it's like the never-ending tower it just keeps going and going like oh my god this is all my unread books this is my tbr pile yep all of these books are unread about maybe 500 maybe 600 we're just not going to count anymore look at that can't even see these are romance books 
there is a proper shelf <laughs> there. You can't even like see it. I don't know how to give you the tour of this section personally. Romance books, romance books, romance books. And then there is a shelf that is like thrillers and then two more of like young romance, <laughs> like YA. <laughs> it's so badly done. Books on this shelf, beautiful, makes sense, perfect. And then this monstrosity came about. I've got this issue of accepting books and arcs when I shouldn't because I don't have the space or the time to read them all. But, and also just buying more books than I should. It's an issue, all my friends know it's an issue. The pile might crush me one day and if it does, it does, we move. And there's so many books on here, it's actually very stressful for me. So this is supposed to be like my romancy pile. It's just so big. And obviously got hardbacks, so I'm gonna blame them for taking up space. And then some arcs that came out last year that I've not read yet because I'm the worst when it comes to reading books on time and I'm hoping this year I'm gonna get and change it a bit more but obviously these books are actually have in my arc section don't know why they're not it's because this is cute I like this so these are the books I want to read this year so we've got The Mask and Mirror of the Lies Not beautiful little geology can't wait the finishing off the Dark Sailor Magic series and then finishing off Vengel Sky Beyond the Storm um and i darken like trilogy second books and they're like historical fiction both really enjoyable chosen ones uh, a thousand splendid sons the wicked deep the bone season the never tilting world half blood red white and royal blue and then aristotle and dante and then here i've got an uh, anthology of irish folklore <laughs> so if you don't know i'm actually half irish so that is why uh the missing of the claudine so like the second book in the mirror of Vista quartet thingy the city beautiful um honor among thieves it's like a sci-fi the coldest touch of vampire one dark window then all these hidden gift series smoke in the flame and then hunt the stars so it's just a solid little pile but guys it doesn't finish that there is books on the opposite side as a roll around by the way this is um some poems that my friend celine wrote tell me again the tale of tomorrow and it's like nice so i'm not trying to like rush through them. i'm reading them quite slowly i'm like okay like one poem a day i'm really like vibing with it queen of, queen of the turling like the first two books i really want to read this series i've heard such good things about it i've just never picked it up we free the stars that's just one's cries war and then the first book in the final empire the night trilogy and here we've got far wild magic the empress crowned in red soul in the deep or of the deep a cruel and fated light the iron king <laughs> so then we've got extrasia stealing infinity and then a, like nice little sci-fi like a space opera shadow in the glass in the ravenous dark and then all of us villains and with all of these books i really want to read them before like the year or especially like the books on the front if i don't read them this year they're going to be gone so i'm giving myself like a deadline to read them I've got the blood air trilogy i really want to read it and i've got castles in the bones um the shadows between us god killer i I want to read this so badly. I've heard such good things. Lessons in chemistry, really good actually. Got Hellbent, Song of Silver Flame, Like a Night. I've heard such amazing things. Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. Last Violent Call, Stardust in the Veins, which is the sequel to Cast on Their Bones, and then Now She is a Witch. Yes, this is the stack that is never ending. I just never know what to do with it. All my bookshelves. I can't show you this section because I have to take all the books off. And that's going to take me so long to put together, but I think one day I will give you a nice little TBR tour. So you're going to see all the books on my physical TBR. And that's going to be a better video than me trying to whip off all of these books here. And then maybe I'll grant you a bit of like part two of a bookshelf tour. Like actually see what books I have shoved behind this godforsaken collection of like, I'm going to call it now the Mountain of Doom. This is my Mountain of Doom. And one day I will show you the books behind the Mountain of Doom once it's smaller or I can be bothered to move all the books. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, hopefully I'll be posting at least once a week. That's gonna be the aim, to do a once a week YouTube video to get back on it. Also just to give me something to do, like proactive.